Men has come, women are wicked. Beyond all this, the movie Anikulaku has been warmly accepted with several memes coming from the movie. Yeah, are the top 10 things you probably missed while watching the movie. These are hidden features or the tiniest details or symbolism you might have missed that will definitely change the way you see the movie. Now, if you're here to see the movie, then spoiler alert. Number one, the loophole of how slavery began. The movie gave mild references to how some leaders were ready to commune with the foreigners for slave trade. On another occasion, we see the Ojumo hunter played by Yenka Kodri pointing out that a particular land was selling travelers for slave. Number 2. Saru did the popular Nigerian Enipe slang. Now, the Enipe slang was popularized by the comedian Remote, but can be easily traced to the Nollywood actress Pia Nunes. In this case, actor Kunle Remy, who played Saru, also made the gesture, not the slang itself. So, you might want to be on the lookout for this. Number 3. Ikorodu Boy is famous young filmmakers known for making top movies we also present as apprentice for Saro and number four Oba Adiroju of Ujumo was acted by Akim Kai Kazem the British Nigerian actor who acted as a king that doesn't speak well this is definitely not the first time you'll be seeing him you must have seen him in 24 hours redemption and 24 hours itself and you must have seen him in other Nigerian movies like The Last Flight to Abuja and Half of a Yellow Sun. Although many people believed he wasn't allowed to speak in the Yoruba movie because of his accent, this action is not an anomaly in the Yoruba land. Some kings may not dance more than twice a year. The traditions dictate several things to mystify their roles. Number 5. The lady that played Ujumo's princess Adidoja is actually the daughter of the great Alapion Oyo, Oba Lamidi Adiyemi III, and she is also a former Miss Oyo State. Number 6. Arola Ke's broken mirror was not a mere suggestion, rather, it foreshadows the corruption that would happen later in the movie. It is believed that when one breaks a mirror, the owner's mind becomes corrupt. This comes from several mythologies, including Roman and African mythologies. Number 7. The tribal marks were important in showing the true heritage of the town and groups the characters are from and identifiers. The Alakin, the young princes and princess are meant to be identified with or your royal marks. Shala Shogawale had no tribal mark because that's one of the official marks of the Elefe people. Number 8. Rolake's tribal mark is popular among the people from Ondo State and it is known as Jaju. It shows that the king married her from the community that used to be in Ondo State before it will later become Ondo State. Number 9. The concept of closeness was his flawed in its tiniest form yet. Queen and her daughter are the only ones wearing the same type of beat. Arola Kes beads, both earrings and necklaces were unique because she makes beads. Thus, her beads are so smooth compared to other queens and dignitaries. But sometimes her beads are different in style altogether. Although we know that the princess collects beads from Rolake. This uniqueness can also be noticed in the first queen of Oyole, whom Rolake also gave a beat. They are the only two people to use a type of beat and earrings throughout the movie, and this is as a result of the love and respect she has for Rolake. And number 10, Saro's year of servanthood has made him so used to putting his hands behind or in front of him when dealing with any one of status or dignity. This is, really reflect this is reflected when Rolake was blaming him later in the movie. 